Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing the sun. The sun is a familiar object found mainly in the sky. It can warm the planet and, ironically, can power an air conditioner. So let's draw the sun, shall we? Now remember, it doesn't matter if you're not a very good artist, neither am I. To start drawing the sun, we're going to want a basic round shape. So let's make a semicircle. Now I'm going to make mine to the left, like this, and then stop, and continue my circle on the right side like this. Now I do this because I'm not very good at just drawing a circle like that. So what I like to do is draw a semicircle towards me the way I have the most control, and then do the same thing on the other side. And for me, if I do it on the right side second, I won't be blocking the first side I drew with my hand. That's more information than you wanted. Well, the sun is basically just a circle, and depending on your um, cartoon or artwork, you might already be done with just a circle. But I'd like to go a little bit farther. Let's put some uh, flares on the sun, huh? And we can do this by making some long extended S's. Just kind of make a curvy line that goes the other way. And I like it when they all go the same direction. You know what I mean? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the opposite of those curves and meet up with those curves. Like that. Similar to the way we make the leaves. In fact, you could probably make the same shape for leaves or for sun flares in this particular style of drawing. Now I say style of drawing, but what I really mean is drawing poorly. So, put as many of these in as you can to draw it this way. Again, you could just use little straight lines. That's satisfactory for a sun. I see a lot of Sun's drawn where it's just a circle with a lot of straight lines coming out of it. You can go a little farther. Now one of the things that makes the sun the sun is the fact that it's in the sky. So giving a little bit of context, like maybe drawing a little cloud over here. And if you want to learn how to draw a cloud, actually made a video about that too, and I'll put the link down below so you can find it. Just a little cloud, and actually, we'll make the shadowing go away from the sun, because I'm guessing the light source is actually the sun that we've put into the uh, picture already. And that'll help with context too, when uh, people can see that the sun is the light source. And Maybe I'll put another cloud right here. And just quickly, these clouds are made by creating curves in a cloud shape and then just giving it a little bit of depth with some shadowing. Easy peasy, not going to draw any treesies. So what's left of the sun? Well, some people like to put a face in the sun. That can be a lot of fun. Let's do that. We'll start by making kind of stylized curves. One there, and one there. And they're a little bit off of level. So I'm going to incorporate that into the personality of our sun and make him kind of a sneering, grinning sun. I'll put a little backwards curve right there. 
to make the left side of the mouth. And then I'll kind of make the top of the mouth like that at the top of the curve. And somewhere in the middle. There we go. See, he's kind of a cool son, ironically. And he's looking down on the earth, as the sun might do. And that's basically it. If you want, you can also do a little bit of cross-hatching at the tips here. Since we're drawing with only one pen, I don't know if you've limited yourself that way. It's a good way to show depth, even though, of course, there are no shadows on the sun. There are differences in the intensity of light. And even though I may not be getting the dark to light perspective right here, you know, the way that it actually would be, uh, just having confidently done work can go a long way. We can even apply a little bit of hair here as we create some shadowing on the face of the sun. Let's put some land, a couple of hills and stuff. Just some big curves like that. And we can texture these with our old friend, the grass pattern. So like I said, the defining element of the sun is actually its context. The fact that it's in the sky. So that's how you're going to allow people or help people see that it is the sun itself. You can just make spot amounts of grass on these hills and little designs. a little bit of shadowing and you're just about done well that's about it that's a picture of sun in all its glory with all of its friends in the sky if you've enjoyed this picture uh, if you enjoyed this video please hit like hit subscribe share it with your friends remember you can indicate the sky by just making little horizontal lines like this apparently Subscribe to the channel. I'll be trying to draw more stuff. I hopefully will get better and better at it, too. With your suggestions, that's a much, much better bet. So thanks for watching. See you next time. It's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!